Hello YouTube, Mr Mo here. What I've got for you today is a Maxpedition Versi pack. I was given this as a present and I was a little bit apprehensive about it. Uh, but now that I've loaded it up with an EDC kit, I actually really love this. This is an absolute fantastic pack just for a quick EDC vehicle based or even just going camping for a night in the woods. So what I thought I would do is actually rather than just keep reviewing the same stuff over and over again, what I thought I would do is actually load this up and actually come out into the woods and do a video actually camping out overnight with just the contents that I've got in this bag. So first of all, I'll quickly go through the Maxpedition points. As usual, Maxpedition, 1000 denier uh, ballistic nylon, extremely hard wearing material. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant quality and hard wearing. YKK zippers is standard. The material itself, it's got this hoop and loop stitching on it, Velcro, which basically means you can stick on different patches, etc. So if you're using it for military use, then you could put your blood group or your unit or your rank up on these bits. A really good idea by Maxpedition. This is the smaller version of the Versi pack, Fat Boy Versi pack actually. And again, there's the different uh, Molly attachment points and I've actually got a, a, another little Maxpedition pouch up here, which is, I think it's a Coca-Cola pouch they call it. And that's, I find really handy for my compass. The pack itself is one large main compartment. There's a zipper on the front here and then there's also a sleeve and another pouch on the front here. One on the side and one that sits up on the pack itself and another one here. And I think they've just about got this right with this pack. I'm really impressed with it so far. So I'll go through. Um, again, I'll point out the, the good points on the pack. It's the Durafex buckle system, which is excellent. They are nice and strong. You'd be hard pushed to break one of these. YKK zippers, up, like I said, on the front here. There's a small zip compartment. And I find that really handy. Uh, signal mirror here and a whistle. Obviously, if you were in any situation, you would want them close at hand because that's how you're going to get rescued. So they fit in there really well. In fact, I'll just leave them out as I go along. On the side here, there's quite a large pouch. It's a good size. All these specs you'll get from maxpedition.com on this pack about the various sizes of pouches, etc. I'm just going to concentrate on actually what you can get in here. So in this pouch here, I have a small first aid kit. And inside this kit, really, to be honest with you, I've kept it to a bare minimum. I uh, have some talcum powder here because in a situation where you're going to have to walk, then your feet are, are a real issue. So you're going to have to look after your feet. And therefore, talcum powder should have its place in a first aid kit. I have some TCP. Again, general anaesthetic for uh, cuts and bruises and what have you, just cleans the skin up. So that's always good to have. I've got a couple of little uh, compass, uh, my compass and my, there's a little flashing light. You've, I won't go too much into them because you've seen them if you've looked at my M4 pouch on YouTube. And then really basically what I've got here is just a few plasters, paying particular attention again to Compede and the show which is again aids the foot care. If you're going to be having to walk for miles out of a situation, then I suggest you look at make your feet the sort of a good high up on your priority list. Moving on, on the other side here, I simply have the the Trust Two model of the, the Luma Power Trust Two model. Sorry, and I find this an, an excellent sort of torch just for everyday carry. Moving up on top, I have a, in this small pouch at the top, I have a Pre-Mac water filter. And these are excellent pieces of kit and they're rated till about 50 or 60 litres. Now there is a few things that I would like to point out about this. First and foremost, it's banned in the EU countries. This is an emergency filter and for certain people, they may have problems with this. 
For those of you who have thyroid problems, this is a no-no. Pregnant women, this is a no-no. And anyone with any issues whatsoever with the liver should seek medical advice before they use any product with iodine in it. Uh, I've chosen to, to keep it in my kit because it's never done me any harm. I've used this several times and it hasn't done me any ill effects. So I'm going to carry on using this until such times I'm told not to. So that is the Premac filter and I'm actually going to show you at some point how that works. I'm going to cover the basics of things tonight. I'm going to do shelter building, food, fire and water all from this pack. So moving on, this other pouch here I have is my Iris 50 compass. I always have that with me because again, should you have to walk out of a situation, then you need a good compass and I prefer the bearing compass. It's nice and easy to keep a, pick a, basically pick a number or pick a direction and just keep walking in it. The inside when you open up the main compartment, I have a Falniven DC4 sharpening stone. I find this an excellent field sharpening kit, so that's got its place in my pack. What else I have in this forward compartment, which is a nice size for a notebook or a pen or something like that, and I carry a couple of 18650 batteries, which are spare batteries for the torch. I have two uh, are, well, the 123A ones, they're the rechargeable ones, and I have the 18650 batteries. I can't carry the combination so I can get the best of both worlds from those batteries. Moving on, the zipper pouch here is generous size, and I have different items just kind of stuck in there. Uh, again, there is a wire saw and some spare batteries for a head torch, which I'll show you in a minute. If you have seen my other videos, you may be familiar with some of this kit. Have a sachet of coffee, it's always good for a cup of coffee if you're going out camping for the night. In here, I have a purse net for rabbit catching, and I have a couple of like beef stock cubes in an oven bag. That gives me the option of cooking a, a rabbit in an underground oven rather than leaving it over the fire. I could put it in an underground oven and then that way I free myself up to go foraging for other foods or carry on with shelter building etc. So that is that is my preferred method of cooking in any one of those situations. Again I have a sol solar power mobile phone. If you are coming out to even practice your survival skills and bushcraft and what have you, I suggest you always have a mobile phone with you and always have the means to charge it. So that's always in my pack wherever I go. If it's not in my pack, it's in my pocket. And then again, here I have a small bag. I have some fishing hooks, potassium permanganate, magnifying glass, some needles and thread, some fishing line, some snare wire and a condom. And that's really a last ditch kit in that bag. And that all fits in there really nicely. <laughs> Moving on to the main compartment, I have a platypus water bottle here, this is about half a litre and I use that in connection with the filter so if I'm out and I'm, I'm needing to purify some water I can simply use the filter, put some in there and then that can go in the, the cargo uh, pocket or your trousers and that way you've always got some fresh drinking water at hand. <laughs> 